Hello and welcome to Med Tutors Lecture Series. Our lectures give tips to medical students, house officers, and young medical practitioners on common conditions they encounter in exams and practice, with an overall aim of improving the quality of healthcare delivery. We will talk on transfusion of blood and its products. Blood transfusion is the infusion of blood or its products into the venous system of an individual for therapeutic purpose. It should only be given when indicated to avoid potential hazards. Component transfusion is preferred for specific component deficiencies to minimize the risk of complications. Indications for blood transfusion or its products. Indication for whole blood transfusion. Whole blood is indicated when there is sudden blood loss of greater than 25% of blood volume. In exchange blood transfusion. When patients continue to bleed after receiving four units of pack cells, Whole blood collected and transfused within three hours is regarded as fresh whole blood. Pack cells. Pack cells are transfused in patients with chronic anemia. Patients prone to fluid overload, such as in cardiac failure, renal failure, liver failure, elderly patients or in children. One unit of pack cells raise the hemogram by one gram per DL or the PCV by 3%. Platelet concentrate. Platelet concentrate is indicated in thrombocytopenic patients, abnormal platelet function, aplastic anemia, Conditions with accelerated platelet consumptions or destructions. Example, immunodeficiency syndromes. Sepsis, DIC. One unit of concentrate raised platelet count by 5 times 10 raised power 9 per liter. Fresh frozen plasma. Fresh frozen plasma is indicated in deficiencies of coagulation factors for which specific concentrates are not readily available. In emergency treatment of warfarin overdose, vitamin K deficiency, when factor 9 complex concentrate is not available. Treatment of thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. DIC. Cryoprecipitate. Cryoprecipitate is used in hemophilia, hypofibrinogenemia, von Willebrand disease. Cryoprecipitate is rich in factor 8, factor 13, fibrinogen, and von Willebrand factor. Types of blood transfusion. Blood transfusion could be homologous or autologous. Homologous blood transfusion is the transfusion of blood collected from a donor to a recipient. Autologous blood transfusion is collection and subsequent reinfusion of patient's own blood. The aim of autologous blood transfusion is prevention of transmission of infection and immunological complications associated with homologous blood transfusion. The types of autologous blood transfusion include preoperative autologous blood donation, acute isovolemic hemodilution, intraoperative blood salvage, post-operative blood salvage. 
blood donation and collection. The criteria for a donor. A donor must be fit with HP of greater than 12 grams per DL between 18 to 65 years of age greater than 51 kilograms no major surgery or blood donation in the last six months no pregnancy or blood transfusion in the last 12 months no clinical malaria in the last one month not a known hypertensive no splenomegaly hepatomegaly no bleeding disorders or allergic conditions donor must be free from diseases such as viral hepatitis hiv syphilis trypanosomiasis brucellosis no vaccination in the last three months not in high risk group for hiv blood collection should be into a collapsible plastic bag containing 60 ml of anticoagulants citrate phosphate dextrose adenine cpda storage whole blood is stored at 2 to 6 degrees celsius cryopresbytate is stored at minus 40 degree celsius platelet concentrate 20 to 24 degrees celsius for a maximum of five days the effects of storage of whole blood at 2 to 6 degrees celsius the changes seen in the rbc's will include swelling by 20 percent rbc loses potassium into the plasma there's reduction in atp and 2,3-DPG, which leads to reduction in viability of the red blood cells. 1% of red blood cell is lost per day of storage. There is also progressive loss of viability of other components and reduction in pH. Blood administration. It should be based on accurate diagnosis and the indications must be met. The benefit for transfusing blood should far outweigh the risk. Informed consent is obtained. ABO resource compatible blood should be cross matched with patient serum before use. Secure all materials required. Blood to be transfused should be identified and checked against patient's parameters, which include patient's name, blood group, hospital number, and ward. Secure intravenous access for blood transfusion with large bore cannuli under strict asepsis. Check vital signs before, during the process of transfusion. Exclude air from the given sets. Regulate the rates according to patient and his needs. Observe patient regularly for complications and treat accordingly. Complications of blood transfusion during administration usually occur within the initial 100 mils. Hence, the rate should therefore be initially 20 to 30 drops per minute that is 2 to 3 mils per minute then increase to 60 to 80 drops after half an hour complications of blood transfusion the complications could be immediate complications or delayed complications immediate complications include febrile non-hemolytic reaction, hemolytic reaction, allergic reaction, bacterial contamination, 
circulatory overload, cardiac arrest, air embolism, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, also known as trally, transfusion-related acute lung injury. The delayed complications, thrombophlebitis, delayed hemolytic reaction, post-transfusion thrombocytopenic purpura, iron overload, immunosuppression, transmission of diseases such as viral hepatitis, malaria, syphilis, cytomegalovirus, trypanosomiasis, brucellosis, infectious mononucleosis, HIV, post-transfusion graft versus host disease, massive blood transfusion. This is transfusion of greater than half the patient's blood in one hour or greater than total blood volume in 24 hours. It's indicated in hypovolemic shock secondary to hemorrhage, which can arise from trauma, ruptured aneurysm, massive gastrointestinal hemorrhage, liver transplant, exchange blood transfusion. Massive blood transfusion is associated with some problems. Technical and clerical error lead to hemolytic reactions. They could have circulatory overload, cardiac arrhythmias, and arrests. Cardiac arrest is due to transfusion of cool blood, hyperkalemia, hypocalcemia, and acidosis. Other complications that could be seen in massive transfusion include respiratory complications, bleeding diastasis, in massive blood transfusion results from thrombocytopenia, deficiency of coagulating factors, factor five and eight, hypocalcemia, reduced oxygen delivery due to reduced 2,3 DPG. Alternatives to blood transfusion. The reasons for alternatives is to prevent the adverse reaction associated with transfusion. Religious reasons. The techniques or options for alternative include autologous blood transfusion, blood substitutes, decreasing blood loss during surgery, increasing RBC production. Blood substitute could either be plasma substitute or red blood cell substitute. Plasma substitutes are either crystalloids or colloids. Red blood cell substitute could include parfluorocarbons, hemoglobin based oxygen carrier. Blood and its products are important in patient's management. It benefits should far outweigh the risks before administration to avoid the untoward effects which are all catastrophic which may result in high morbidity or mortality thank you for watching and do not forget to hit the like button subscribe and share for updates on more videos